Well, hello there, and welcome back to the series of conversations on cultivating change from the inside out. I'm your host, Anita Russell, international best-selling author and life coach. We're getting closer to the big day, the official launch of my newest independent book project, Cultivating Change from the Inside Out. Release day for the book is March 23rd, so I hope you mark your calendar. The book serves as the main platform for these conversations, and these conversations are centered around the belief that dismantling racism requires both systemic and personal transformation. In other words, change in the thoughts, ideas, and beliefs of individual people is just as important as systemic change in laws and legislation or politics and economics. In the previous two conversations, we covered the 10 brave beliefs to stepping out of the shadows and moving into the spotlight to be seen and heard while not being a hindrance to others to be seen and heard. So let's move on to the next topic, six keys to nurture, grow and empower your life. These keys are fueled by a sense of personal accountability and responsibility. And I developed these six keys as a toolkit to manage your becoming space. That's the space between where you are in your life and where you desire to be. It's your growth space to living your best life. It's important to note, however, that living your best life is not simply to recognize the greatness within yourself. The real challenge lies in recognizing the greatness in others as well. The six keys are divided into two interrelated sets. First, the interpersonal keys, know yourself, nurture your life, integrate your life, presented in this conversation. Second, the interpersonal keys, connect with others, live intentionally, seize opportunity, are presented in the next conversation. Interpersonal is awareness of your innermost thoughts, feelings, and beliefs about yourself. While interpersonal is awareness of the words you speak, the actions you take, the behaviors you exhibit, and the relationships you do or don't sustain with others. So let's get started with the first key, know yourself, because you have to know yourself to grow yourself. You have to also recognize that your self-image plays a key role in the development of your character and influence. So is there alignment between the inner you and how you appear to others? And what are those things or people that have the greatest influence on your self-image and your character? The second key is nurture your life. To nurture your life is to make wise choices, to build quality relationships and to embrace change. So the central question here is, are you alive to thrive or just survive? And do you know the difference? The third interpersonal key is integrate your life. This is not the same as balance your life. Integrate your life is to coordinate all the different aspects of your life to create a whole life picture based on synergy. It's to sustain an integrated approach to living that takes all aspects of your life into account, including spiritual, personal, relational, work, financial domains, not competitively but holistically. The question here is, how do you manage the interconnected roles, relationships, and responsibilities across the various segments of your life? And are you satisfied with your approach? Now, I want you to hold these questions in your mind as you ponder the first set of keys to nurture, grow, and empower your life. Watch this video again if you have to, and really dig into answering those connecting questions. And of course, don't forget, March 23rd is book launch day for cultivating change from the inside out. 
visit my author page at Anita D. Russell, author.com and my website at theplacetosoar.com. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to this channel, The Place to Soar. And I'll see you in the next conversation. Thank you.